hi hello everyone it's Durs, and today i'm going to show you how to make the smallest iron farm in the world this farm is four blocks long three blocks wide and three and a half blocks tall and while this build isn't technically the most efficient it certainly surprised me with how fast the golem spawned now if you decide to build this iron farm please consider subscribing i'm sure it would help me a little bit and i would really appreciate it okay enjoy the video for this build you'll need three beds one minecart with hopper one hopper one chest one rail one piston a stack of building blocks two slabs one jack-o-lantern 12 carpets one iron trapdoor one daylight detector one button one cauldron one campfire three villagers and one zombie now the first thing you'll have to do is go up at least 16 blocks in the air because that's the only way this build is going to work really well I went up about 20 blocks and then I placed my jack-o-lantern on top. Now surrounding this, take out your building blocks and just place them all around the jack-o-lantern. On the platform that you just created, you can place your three beds in this formation. Then, break all the blocks underneath the beds, but do not break the jack-o-lantern. After that, place your chest right here and connect a hopper to the chest by crouching and placing. And just to make sure it's connected properly, drop something into the hopper to see if it shows up in the chest. Next, on top of the hopper, place the rail, and on top of that, place the minecart with hopper. Then you'll want to carefully break the rail without moving the minecart on top. After that, place a building block on top of this bed. And place three more on top of that, so that it is four blocks tall. And build over the minecart with hopper like this. Now under this block, place your piston. But make sure that the piston is facing the right way. The brown part has to be looking at the minecart with hopper. Then, place a building block under the piston and take out the stone button and place it on the piston and press it so that the building block gets pushed into the minecart with hopper. And it should look pretty glitched. Once you do that, you can break the piston and all those building blocks. Tis now time to place the carpets on top of the beds. Once you finish putting one layer of carpets on the beds, add another layer so that there are two total layers of carpet and it should be looking something like this. Now comes one of the harder parts of the build and that is getting the three villagers into this hole. You will probably have to use rails and a minecart to bring in the villagers, but since I'm building this in creative, I'm just gonna spawn them in. And once they're all in, we have to wait for nighttime because we need the villagers to get into their beds. So just wait around until nighttime comes. Now that all the villagers are sleeping in their beds, come to the back and break these two pieces of carpet. And on the left side, place your daylight detector. And on the right side, place your iron trap door. But to place this, you need to crouch and right click. If you just right click, you'll be interacting with the daylight detector. After that, place back the two carpets on top that broke before. It is now time to bring in the zombie. To do that, place one building block connected to the jack-o-lantern and connected to this building block, place your cauldron. On top of the cauldron, you'll wanna place two building blocks. And on top of that, place one of your slabs. Then you can break the two building blocks and place one more slab underneath the first slab. And now you'll need to get the zombie into the cauldron 
and just like the villagers, you'll have to use rails and a minecart. I don't know if there's an easier way to bring in a zombie, but I highly doubt there is. One suggestion is to bring in the zombie and place the zombie on top of these slabs, and then break the slabs so that the zombie falls right into the cauldron. Well luckily I don't have to do all that because I just spawned it in and it was much easier. And now that the zombie is here, it is not able to attack the villagers, but the villagers can see the zombie and they keep getting scared, which is what causes the iron golem to spawn. And once the golems spawn, they will promptly be eliminated by the campfire that we are going to place right now, which is the last step. You'll want to place the campfire on top of this hole, just like this. And now this build is done. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you should probably get a name tag and use it on the zombie so that the zombie does not despawn. It would really suck if you took 20 minutes to get the zombie in the cauldron only for it to despawn in 10 minutes. But other than that, like I mentioned before, this is the smallest iron farm and it actually has a pretty decent spawn rate. The original designer of this build is reddit user TimBNice underscore YT and his YouTube channel is TimBNice. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Okay, bye.